Hey guys, the objectives for this video is to determine the earthquake design category EDC for our problem. In the upcoming videos, we're also going to be looking at calculating the base shear, using the equivalent static force method to calculate the design earthquake force at each level, and calculate the overturning moment. Okay, so here's our structure. It is uh, one, two, three, and there's a roof, three meters high each level. We're told that it's a residential building in Gosford. The subsoil is soft clay. It's an ordinary steel moment resisting frame. The importance level is three, and the annual probability of exceedance is one in 1,000. We're also given the loading. We're told that from levels one to three, the dead load is 1,000 kilonewtons, and the live load is 1,200 kilonewtons. And on the roof, the dead load is 800, and the live load is 600. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is finding the earthquake design category, okay? That's gonna help us eventually find the base shear and the overturning moment. So just to show you where we're at, the earthquake design category, um, so selection of earthquake design category is found in table 2.1. There's a whole bunch of other steps we need to do to get to here. I'm just gonna show you what we need though. So you can see that there in this column here, we've got earthquake design category. Let me just zoom in a bit. So if you just give me a sec. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in there. We need to know in this column, we need to know the subsoil class. So we're gonna be finding that. Uh, we also need to know this KPZ value, which we're also gonna be finding. Okay, and we also need to know the importance level. So there's a couple things we need to work out before we actually get to find the EDC. So step one in this process is going to be finding KP, the probability factor, okay? So we're gonna be using this annual probability as one in 1,000. So we're gonna to go to table 3.1 on page 18. So table 3.1 on page 18. So we have a table here. So we're table 3.1 on page 18, if I zoom in for you. We're given annual probability exceedance, again, probability factor. We were told an annual probability exceedance of one in 1,000. So that means using this table, we come and we get a KP value of 1.3, okay? So KP is equal to 1.3. KP is 1.3 based on that table. So that's step one. 